When I was a resident in pediatrics, I was told we'll never promote this vaccine. This vaccine will never be a recommended or mandated vaccine because all vaccines come with risks and chicken pox is so risk free. Of course, you'll hear children died from chicken pox. Well, yes, on average in the United States, there were 100 deaths a year from chicken pox. That's not considered a problem. I hate to say it. Of course, if it's your child or your spouse who dies or you, it's a problem. But if you look at statistically 100 deaths out of how many hundred million people we've got in the country, it was a really low rate. Most people know of chicken pox as a pretty benign entity. Now we're vaccinating for chicken pox and hey, the vaccine's working. We're not seeing as much chicken pox, right? So that seems like a good thing. However, what we're seeing more of now is shingles because those of us adults who need to be exposed to ongoing chicken pox through children aren't. So we're not getting those natural boosters. And so what happens is our immunity level starts to drop. This is happening both in children and in adults now. I don't think this is an overall benefit. The UK is not using that vaccine. They have looked into the danger of chicken pox and the cost effectiveness of vaccinating the entire population. And they have decided not to implement that in their vaccine schedule. There are other countries as well who have decided not to use chicken pox vaccine. The United States is the most, one of the most heavily vaccinated countries. South Korea comes close. And our childhood chronic disease rates are actually also among the highest. The problem with that vaccine is there are many more deaths from the vaccine than we would have seen from chickenpox because now what we've done is we've shifted the burden of disease from chickenpox to shingles. What a lot of doctors don't even understand is that chickenpox, like pertussis, needs to be in the environment so we can be constantly exposed and the constant exposure maintains our antibodies and keeps us from getting shingles, which is why when I was a young kid, the only people that got shingles were very old people because they weren't exposed to young children anymore. If you're out in the environment and you're exposed to the population at large and young people, you are exposed to chicken pox or you were exposed to chicken pox and it kept your antibodies adequate to suppress shingles from coming out. As the vaccine became more widespread and by year 2000, 50% of children aged less than 10 years old had been vaccinated, the boosting from children in the community with natural chicken pox severely decreased because so many children had been vaccinated. So the young children that had had natural chicken pox no longer were receiving those exogenous or outside exposures. As chicken pox exposures decline, shingles increased. And shingles has a much greater morbidity and mortality rate than chicken pox. Yes, that's a good point because the cost to treat chicken pox are at 25% and shingles is 75% of the cost. So if you eliminate chicken pox, but shingles increases, then you've offset the benefit that you tried to achieve.